Yeah, I'm Peter Dvorak, and I will be presenting some tips and tricks how to use Kicket for serious hardware development. Uh, some people tell that Kicket is a toy for hobbyists and tinkerers, and I think it's a quite professional tool, especially in the latest, late, lately released uh, version eight. So I think Kicket is fast. If you move from and other systems, you would be surprised how fast and how reactive the Kicket is. Kicket is flexible because it can be uh, fueled with uh, many action plugins and uh, yeah, extensions. It's a, it's an open system and affordable. For many of us, it's it's free. It's for zero zero dollar US dollars or euro or anything but uh yeah we can we can support developers by some some uh, money but uh, yeah basically it's free so i prepared a live demo for you uh, there will be uh, 15 stages uh, we will be we will be present in the schematic editor and then in the pcb editor so let's switch to kick it here is the stage one. Let's see that the task is to change a C20 to another, another symbol, another component. Of course, we can always do that. Uh, yeah, we can delete the C20, find another one in the database and place it in the place of C20. But uh, there is a more elegant solution for multiple multiple reasons. So I recommend to use the change symbol feature in the properties of the symbol. So uh, open the symbol properties by uh, E key. And there is a symbol property window <clears throat> and the button change symbol. You can, uh, you can leave the checked ch uh, ch uh, change select symbols checked or you can uh, change the settings, but uh, we want to change only C20. So keep the change selected symbols as is. Now I am looking for, uh, yeah, another symbol. Here it is. I recommend to check the value option because sometimes the value can, can differ and you don't want to keep the values from the old from the old symbol. So voila, and the symbol is changed. The, the value position can be changed so you can arrange it and it is. So yeah, we start it slowly, but uh, that tool is really, really useful. Stage two, multiple symbol change. I showed you that uh, the symbol property can be used for symbol change, but not for multiple symbols. The task is to change C23 and C24 to 0402. So for instance, I will select multiple capacitors, multiple symbols, but the, the E key doesn't work because the, the property is, the property window is, uh, functioning only for a single symbol. Then when we want to, ch to change multiple symbols, we need to go to the contextual menu. So right mouse button, change symbols from the menu. And the situation is the same. Yeah. I will find another symbol. I recommend keep the value checked and change. Uh, that tool can be used for changing. Yeah, both tools can be used for changing all, all uh, similar symbols in the entire schematics. But it's a it's a bug change, and we don't always want to make bug changes because, uh, frankly, I don't I don't I don't use it because once I don't know what's happening in the sheet number I don't know fifteen. I don't do that because it's a, it's a hidden change and it's a ticking bomb. 
So multiple symbol change, contextual manual, and change symbols. So let's see the stage three. Linking labels, that feature was uh, introduced in KitKat version seven, I think. And it's, it's really useful. Uh, let's say, let's say that we need to make the web link alive. So here, this is normal text label. And uh, in the bottom of the text property window, there is a checkbox link, and then we can easily select the HTTP and place the URL in there. And now the link is alive. I'm not going to click and to move to the browser, but you can see that the, the link is, is alive. But not, uh, it was even more important and useful is we can use the links to moving between sheets. So here is the similar text field. I'm going to its properties. I'm checking the link checkbox and then I can select that I want to go to sheet two. So now the link is active and I, I can go, I can be moved to the sheet two. Let's see, yeah, this is sheet two, it works. So really useful, for example, for hierarchical schematics, when you want to navigate the user or the fellow engineer uh, through the schematics, through the labels. So uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's really, really useful. And uh, for instance, for engineers who didn't create the schematics, is uh, really helpful to navigate through the, through the design. So let's see stage four. Stage four will be a little bit longer because there are two parts. Repeat 